Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Physiosaurus. In the previous video, we were talking about the neurological assessment for physiotherapist and we have covered the topic up to the balance. Okay. Now in the in this video, I will just uh, continue the video from the coordination. Okay. Now for the coordination, muscle power more than three and the isolated movement of the muscle should be present. Okay. Now. In order to assess the coordination, there are two methods such as non-equilibrium test and the equilibrium test. There are various kinds of test comes under in the non-equilibrium test. Some of them are finger nose test, alternating pronation and supination, heel shin test, foot taping and rebound phenomenon. Okay. Now in the equilibrium test, tests such as tandem walking, walking on heel and toes. These are the most common equilibrium test. Now there is one more name in the coordination such as Romberg's test. Now Romberg's test, it is used to diagnose the ataxic patient. Okay. Now how it is performed? It is performed when patient stand with the feet together with his both eyes open and closed. Okay. Now we'll talk about the gait. Okay. Now in gait, there are various things that you could assess such as mode of ambulation. Okay. Now, if the patient is independent or dependent on someone to walk. Okay. The next thing is if the patient have any assistive aid or any kind of human support. Okay. Uh, the human support could be supervision or any kind of physical contact. Okay. Now, the third thing is walking aid. Now, in walking aid, you could actually examine if the person is using frame, rollator, crutches, stick, etc, etc. Okay. You could also assess the types of the abnormal gait. Now there are many kinds of uh, abnormal gait. I've already uploaded few videos on abnormal gait. Uh, the series isn't finished yet. So I, in the upcoming video, I'll try to uh, finish all the videos on abnormal gait pattern. Okay. So uh, the abnormal gait, there are various kinds of abnormal gait such as circumductory gait, festinant gait, ataxic gait, lurching gait, waddling gait, trendelens burg gait, antalgic gait, high stepping, scissoring gait, quadricep gait, equinovirus gait. So there are many more. Okay. Now the next thing is observation gait analysis or gait assessment scale. So there are uh, many things that you could assess such as the swing phase is normal or not. A stance phase of the patient is normal or not. Their step length, stride length. These are abnormal or abnormal. Okay. The next thing is base of support. So uh, base of support can also be assessed. Okay. So it is seen that the base of the support is normal or increased. Okay. Similar with the heel toe pattern, heel toe pattern, if it is altered or it is normal. Now the associated movements, whenever a person walks, there are some kinds of associate movement along with their walking pattern, such as trunk rotation, arm swing. Okay. So the associated movement is normal or decreased or it is totally absent. Okay. Now in the other findings, you could also assess if the person has an hyperextension of knee or there is propulsion gait or the presence of lateral pulsion. So this comes under the other finding. You could also tell the patient to walk on the uneven surface such as any ramp or stair and you could assess then that the patient is able to do or they are not able to do. Okay. The next thing is postural exam. Okay. Now the postural exam, it is assessed in the three view. Okay. Anterior view, posterior view and the lateral view. We'll talk about how to uh, assess the posture, how to examine the posture in very detail in the upcoming videos. Okay. Now the next thing is bladder and the bowel exam. Okay. In the bladder and bowel exam, what you uh, assess is their voiding problem or incontinence. Okay. Sensation is intact or not. Okay. And also the types of bladder such as lower motor neuron or upper motor neuron and the types of catheter used. Okay. The next thing is pulmonary assessment. In the pulmonary assessment, we talk about the chest abnormality, position of the trachea, chest deformity, chest symmetry, use of accessory muscles such as sternocleidomastoid, splinting breathing, okay, breathing sound, sputum color, volume and the capacity of lungs, quality of voice, cyanosis and percussion in the last. Now the next thing is aerobic capacity and endurance. What is aerobic capacity and endurance? So basically 
distance moved or the duration of activity done continuously and the rest period requirement time of the patient so these are the two things that you need to assess in the patient suffering from any kind of neurological condition okay the next thing is functional independence measure okay what is functional independence measure it is an assessment method to evaluate functional status of the patient throughout the rehabilitation process okay now it has seven skills as you can see here okay it has seven skills now uh, the grade 7 means the person is completely independent and grade 1 means person needs total assi assistance okay now the next thing is functional evaluation okay in the functional evaluation you need to evaluate the ambulation bed activities dressing eating toilet activities so in the functional evaluation all you need to assess is their activity of daily living ADL okay now the last one investigation clinical investigation okay or radiological investigation so the first is x-ray now x-ray is usually done in the fracture osteoporosis spinal canal uh, issues okay intervertebral spaces etc etc now it's ct scan the next is ct scan ct scan is done in case of infarction hemorrhage with location and enlargement okay the third is mri mri is done in case of herniation atrophy uh, disc prolapse intra or extra medullary lesion fourth is ncv which is the short form of nerve conduction velocity it is uh, ex uh, done or performed in case of sensory and motor conduction studies okay emg the next one is emg emg is usually performed in the neurogenic or myogenic lesions and there are other investigations too such as blood csf biopsy report etc etc okay so thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video share this video with your batchmates